Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So today I'd like to discuss what I have come to know as the Marcus Cliver effect. So basically this effect is something that happens to mainstream academics in, in, in a larger part than let's say a smaller part. In other words, most of them suffer from this effect in some form or other. Uh, the effect is basically this, that ignorance can be fixed, but not stupidity. And obviously, when you think about these things, uh, you immediately realize that a crank is someone who cannot be convinced, even in the face of overwhelming evidence. So today, I'm going to talk about some of Marcus Cliver's, uh, actually a couple of Marcus Cliver's main problems. Okay, so let's look at the first. So... In my historic geometric theorem, I revealed to the world that uh, in January 2020, that the slope, the slope of a non-parallel secant line, which is what you see in red, is equal to the slope of the derivative plus some difference. Okay. That equation has an equal sign there, meaning that the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side. And here are some of the things that I was the first to reveal. Okay. Let's, let, let me tell you what they are. The first thing I revealed is that this right-hand side is an arithmetic mean. Of which function would you say? Is it an arithmetic mean of f or f prime? If you guessed f prime, you would be right, okay? Because this right-hand side is an arithmetic mean of f prime. And that's what helps you to get the definite integral too, because if you multiply the right-hand side by h, you have the integral from x to x plus h of f prime of x, okay? But anyway, so it not only helps you find the derivative and the slope difference, which is this gold part here, a, a function of q of h, q of x and h, but it also helps you to find the derivative and the integral, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so the above theorem is proved rigorously in this article, which is still free, by the way, on academia, and you can read it and download it there. And so what I show you is that geometrically, geometrically, the, the slope of a, a non-parallel secant line is given by f1 over h and f2 over h. And I prove it. Okay, so I prove it using very simple geometry. Now, a trigonometry is just geometry of the circle or circle geometry. So I begin here and I show that uh, f1 over h is the slope difference and f2 over h is the derivative. And it's a very simple proof given in, say, one, two, three slides. You can study it whenever you want. Now, one of Ma Marcus Clivus's main contentions, okay, this is one of his main contentions. Let's get rid of that, is that there is only is that there are many ways to, you know, write f prime of x plus q of h. And in order to support this drivel, he says the following. Okay, let's pull up a, let's pull up a page here. So pull up a pen. Okay. So for example, the poor idiot, oh, that, that is just too thick. Um, let's try a smaller one. Say it like that. Let's get some more space. Okay. So what he says is that if you have f of x plus q of xh, which is equal to 2x plus h, you can write that as f of x is equal to 2x plus 5, and q of xh is equal to h minus 5. <laughs> <laughs> what the poor dimwit doesn't realize is that, he, is that if you add these two, and, and by the way, his, his, his main point is that there are innumerably many ways to write this expression. And what I'm telling you is now that to any sane person, that's false. There's only one way to write it, okay? That's what I point out to my people on Discord. I said there's only one way to write F prime uh, plus q of xh, because if you write it generally like this, so if you write f 
prime of x is equal to, let's say, whatever the derivative is. Um, actually, here you must add q of x h. Okay, but he doesn't. He doesn't really understand that you can't have you can't have more than one definition. So let's just stick to this. It's really f of x. What he's really writing here is f of x plus k and q of x. It's I, I know it's ridiculous. I know what you're thinking. It's ridiculous. H minus k. Okay. So if you add these two, right, you will get f of x plus h for any equation that you have, right? So that's one of his main gripes. There's only one way to express this, and that's the, the ingenuity of my historic geometric theorem, which you can read here on Academia. And it's a detailed article, and you won't be sorry if you read it and study it, because there is a lot in there that you've never seen or heard in your life, by the way, because nobody else knew it. Then the second uh, fact that Crank Kleiber could never understand is that H is a factor. Well, he doesn't even know what a factor is, but that's another story. H is a factor of f of x plus h minus f of x, and so it cancels out. Okay, he doesn't realize that. What's the proof of that? Well, here's the proof of it, that. It's, it's simple geometry or trigonometry, whatever you prefer to call it. Trigonometry is just a special form of geometry. It's circular geometry, okay? So look at this diagram, study what I've written down here, and then you'll realize that H is a factor of this left-hand side here, okay? It has to be, because H times this expression is equal to the left-hand side. Marcus Cliver never got that, and he claims to have a master's, or he's studying towards a master's in some Swedish university. So that's what I call the Marcus Cliver effect, okay? It's, it's, basically, it's basically a problem that cranky mainstream mathematics academics have in that they believe that the formulation which they've had r rubbed over their eyes for so long can't be wrong, okay? So they imagine that it's just not possible for them to have been deceived or misled or misguided. But nothing could be further from the truth. Study what I'm telling you here, and you'll find out that what I'm telling you is true. Now, if you're not a Ray subscriber, become one. And also, uh, you might want to join my members-only channel. Okay, This is a great channel for just five euros a month. You'll get access to incredibly good videos. And you'll also know what my most recent research is about and what I'm working on. And also, I might be sharing information I've never shared with the public before, which comes from uh, a book that hasn't been published ever called What You Had to Know in Mathematics, But Your Idiot Educators Could Not Tell You. Okay? Your idiot math educators. <coughs> so, join my members only channel and you'll have access to these and articles and other perks that... Uh, my normal subscribers will not. I'm John Gabriel, and this is a new calculus channel. Until next time.